Asia primaries, Buhari engages aspirants. Black Sunday in Ondo as gunmen invade church in Owo. Plus, updates from Toro Sports. Hello, good evening, and thanks for joining us on Channel 12 News tonight. My name is Hidari Sitz, Adido. President Mohamed Wari has made a strong case for APC presidential aspirants to hold consultations, build consensus, and come up with a formidable candidate that will lead the party to a resounding victory in the 2023 elections. This was a strategic meeting he conveyed with the presidential aspirants ahead of the party's presidential primary election scheduled for Tuesday. State House correspondent Adamo Sambo reports that the national chairman and some members of the APC National Working Committee attended the meeting. Attended by all the presidential aspirants of the APC was in furtherance of the ongoing consultative process by President Muhammad Buhari aimed at ensuring a smooth, rancor-free and strategic emergence of a formidable standard bearer for the upcoming presidential election. He said the APC has so far won two successive presidential elections in 2015 and 2019 through unity of purpose, strategic alignment, consultation, fairness, determination and effective leadership. In both instances, the president explained national and party interests were overriding factors in deliberations and decision making, insisting that 2023 cannot be different. I charge you to recognize the importance of the stability and unity of the party, which cannot be overemphasized. Our choice of elect bearer must be formidable, appealing to the electorate across the board, and to command such ability to unify the country and the capacity to address our critical challenges. President Buhari said with his first-hand knowledge of the demands of the office of the president and the expectations of Nigerians, he cannot help but salute the courage of the aspirants as well as their selfless spirit in volunteering to serve in the highest office of the land. And with the rich pedigree of their accomplishments in life, President Buhari is convinced that the aspirants have all it takes to successfully steer the ship of state into the future. Without prejudice to your qualifications, I urge all of you to hold consultations among yourselves and with the party with a view to building a consensus in a manner that will help the party reduce the number of aspirants, bring up a formidable candidate, and scale down the anxiety of party members. I wish to assure you that in the interest of the nation and the party, I shall continue to provide effective leadership during this transition process and ongoing consultations. I seek your support in this all important responsibility. The president who had earlier met with the APC governors is looking forward to meeting other critical stakeholders towards providing clear direction as well as sustaining the unity and cohesion of the party. The national chairman of the APC, Senator Ablai Adamu, who spoke to NTA News, described the meeting as appropriate, timely and fruitful. This is to show the kind of leadership traits that the president, commander-in-chief, has. He believes in fairness. He believes that the only way we can achieve that level of fairness is for him to consult, to interact. We are talking about the highest price in the leadership, the governance of this country. So what next after this meeting? Well, the consultation continues until the, until the convention. We must thank the president for having this much time to devote to this process of making everybody feel he matters. It's very, very strategic and it is the advantage of the party, the benefit of the party. During the closed door engagement, some of the aspirants, including Vice President Emi Oshibanju, Governor Badaru Abubakar, and Dr. Agbonaya Onu, thanked the president for his leadership and guidance, pledging that they will hold the consultations as counseled.
for the unity and strength of the governing APC. From the State House, Adam Musambu, NTA. Meanwhile, preparations for the All Progressives Congress Special Convention and Presidential Primary are on the way. Sally Ogwanara was at the Eagle Square venue of the event scheduled to hold on the 6th to 8th June 2022. And away from politics, as Nigeria joins the rest of the world to mark another June 5th commemoration of World Environment Day, correspondent Kemi Oshin reports that the theme of this year, Only One Earth, is a call for collective transformative action to celebrate, protect, and restore the planet. Lynch the lakes, slaughter the seas, maul the mountains, but our earth will not die. These lines from the renowned Nigerian poet Niyo Shundari symbolizes the torture and maltreatment suffered by the environment, which is the only home of man. The unfortunate condition of this nature's gift has been attributed to various activities of man. Those people in the night, they bring refuse to the drop so it just stop the uh, flowing of the water when we have a, a antelope in a bush when we kill five today we have a ten tomorrow surely they will reduce with the current emergency situation the world environment day 2022 with the theme only one earth is calling for attitude in a change through climate action, nature action, and pollution action. Are basically, the single-use plastics, the nylons, the bottles from your drinks and from your water. Now, the problem we have is because this waste do not biodegrade for years. Some will not biodegrade for the next 450 years. There are so many things we use and throw away here that be recycled and be reprocessed and be reused and re and be real evaluated as advocacy for environmental sustainability continues globally experts urge individuals to make consumption choices that will advance a more sustainable earth in ibadan kemioshi nta news and in related development as world marks environment day this year the United Nations is warning that humanity is asking for too much of the planet to maintain unsustainable lifestyle. Oyengiye, fine face. World Environment Day 2022 is considered a vital opportunity to safeguard the health of the atmosphere, the richness and diversity of life on Earth ecosystems and finite resources of the natural environment. This movement that began in 1972 stands at a critical juncture today. It's now or never because we are one people and we have only one earth. We have only one home and that is worth standing up for. The theme, only one earth, serves as a reminder for humanity to provide food, clean water, medicine, climate regulations and protection from extreme weather events. We should make this earth sustainable for human habitation. If we treat it very well, it will be, you know, it will, uh, well, it will be sustainable for us. Future generation will enjoy it. We will enjoy it. Is to raise consciousness in the people that this earth, we have no alternative. It is only one. So if you have one thing, what do you do? You must guard it and protect it jealously. World Environment Day advocates prudent management of nature and equitable access to its services, especially for the most vulnerable people and communities. Onengiye Fine Face, NC News. In the meantime, unknown gunmen this Sunday invaded St. Francis Catholic Church, Owalua Owo, Ondo State, killing an unspecified number of faithful. 
confirming the incident to NTA News, the parish priest of the church, Reverend Father Vincent Anadi said the assistant parish priest presided over the Pentecost Sunday Mass, and towards the end of the Mass, the gunmen invaded and started shooting, killing yet to be a certain number of people. We bring you details of that report in our subsequent bulletin. In Nigeria's bid to strengthen and deepen cultural diplomacy with the United States of America, the arts exhibition titled Nigeria Speaks became an undeniable iconic moment in history with the passing of the resolution by the Senate of the State of Georgia declaring May the 25th Nigeria's Arts and Culture Day. The Consulate General of Nigeria in Atlanta, Georgia, in partnership with Nike Arts Gallery, Lagos, Nigeria, proudly hosted the first edition of the Nigeria Speaks Arts Exhibition in Atlanta on the 25th of May, 2022. The exhibition showcased the wide breadth and richness of Nigerian culture, arts, creativity, literature, languages, and other forms of expression. The first edition of the Nigeria Speaks Arts Exhibition celebrated a distinguished Nigerian woman of substance, Chief Mrs. Nike Okundaye, in appreciation of her extraordinary achievement as a globally recognized and celebrated iconic artist, expressionist, and contributor to human civilization. The exhibition mainly featured the work of Chief Nike, the proprietress of Nike Arts Gallery in Lagos, Nigeria, and her associate. Chief Nike is a leading art expressionist and one of the foremost personalities in the development of African arts and crafts. No fewer than 647.4 kilograms of cannabis cats, Loud, Tramadol, Refnol, MDMA, and Pentazine Sim injection were cut off the supply of illicit drugs at the Muritala Mohammed International Airport, Lagos. It was a tough fight that also resulted in the interception of 14.5 kg of cat consignment and 60 pellets of cocaine weighing 1.037 kg at the Namjaziko International Airport, Abuja. And the LEA says 11 suspects have so far been arrested in connection with the crime at the Lagos and Abuja Airport. Meanwhile, operations conducted in Anambra, Abuja and Imo states command of the anti-narcotic agency led to the seizure of quantum of illicit substances to include cannabis, tramadol, exome 5 and refnol among others. We are on to channel 12 news mornings. After this break, please stay with us. Abuja ahead of the clash. Sierra Leone will face Nigeria in March day one of Group A in the AFCON 2023 qualifiers at the Moshirapiola National Stadium Thursday, June 9. The last time both nations met was in the 2021 Africa Cup of Nations qualifiers with both legs ending in draws. To athletics, organizers of the Made in Abuja Inter-Secondary School Athletics Championship held Saturday said efforts are already underway to ensure the successful hosting of the second edition of the event. Speaking to NCA at the end of the maiden edition where Tobina Nwafo and Zainab Idris Abubakar emerged champions of the male and female categories, the organizers said the aim, which is to engage the youth in sport to help curb social vices, was greatly achieved. The issue of social vices, um, one of the ways to tame it is through sports and athletics is one of the major sports. And also, if you look at Nigeria's um, track record of athletics in the 80s and 90s, we used to be at the global level, but in the last 20, 20 years, there have been a, a slip and um, decline. Finally, to boxing, 
Undefeated American David Haney became boxing's first undisputed lightweight champion in 32 years with a unanimous points victory over George Cambosis. The WBC title holder defended his belt for a fifth time as he took Australian Cambosis WBA Super, IBF and WBO titles in Melbourne. All three Georges scored the bout in Haney's favor. With sports update, Cynthia Ogun, NCA News. And sports update wraps up Channel 12 News. Thank you for watching. I'm Darius Adedogun.